One topic that has yet to become a hot button issue on the campaign trail Obamacare. Mylan, the maker of the EpiPen, pointing the finger at Obamacare, blaming the president's health care law for skyrocketing costs of the life saving drug by nearly 550%. And the company is attempting to quell public outrage with discounts and overpriced generics, but our next guest says it's not enough and that Mylan isn't being truthful about the prices that they are charging and the impact on patient costs. I want to bring in America's Health Insurance Plan's Executive Vice President for Policy, Matt Isles. He's, bring, he's joining me now from Washington. So here, okay, here's, the, here's the question, though. If, you, if you're the CEO of Mylan right now, you're under the hot seat, you, boom, you come out with a generic drug for half the price, Matt. That's still three times what EpiPen was in 2007. Is she really doing anybody a favor here? Uh, good afternoon, Charlie. No, she's not doing anyone a favor, and especially not doing consumers or patients really a favor. Um, when you have real generic competition, um, you have prices that drop by 80 or 90 percent. Um, this is really more of a, a shell game or really a gimmick uh, to try and deflect attention away uh, from the real issue, which is the price of the product. You know, she believes that Americans, and then she's come out and said this in her defense, she believes that we should be redirecting our anger because she says, okay, if you've got the cost, and we've got a graphic to represent this, but if you've got the cost, the, the, the core cost of the EpiPen, and then you add in what a pharmacy takes, uh, what an insurance company takes, their cuts, that's what leads to this exorbitant cost of the EpiPen. So she's pointing the finger at your constituents. Here we go. Here's the graphic, okay? That's why uh, pharmacy retailers, wholesalers, insurance companies, that's you. She's saying that it's on your backs as well as hers that we've got problems here. What's your response to her? Right, and that's just a really ridiculous uh, charge and a way, again, to deflect attention away from the real issue, which is the price of the product. I was on a website today searching for the product, trying to see how much it was going to cost. Um, and I couldn't find it uh, for an uninsured patient for less than $700 uh, for a two-pack. I mean, they really are just trying to mix and match issues when the issue would be addressed if they would just reduce the price of the product to a reasonable level. We have not yet heard the CEO of Mylan really address the issue of why the price is what it is. How do they justify getting to a price of $600? They can't. Okay, really quick though, I do want to say that we had 20 senators come out, some of them very prominent, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, coming out and saying that they have a lot of questions for Mylan. And I think we're going to really see this heat up after uh, the Labor Day holiday. And, and basically they're saying, look, the EpiPen has become so exorbitantly expensive, access to this combination product in jeopardy for many Americans. Of course, these are politicians talking. And they say that because of these increases, uh, that, that basically these discount programs that Mylan is offering uh, are useless. They're calling it a complex shell game by the company. Do you agree with that? Uh, absolutely. Really, um, it would be much better if they would just cut the price of the product, not try and uh, hand out these cards um, that only a certain segment of the population can use. For example, if you're on Medicare and you have a prescription drug plan, you can't use these cards. Um, you're not allowed to use these cards. Um, it would be much better, again, if they would just get to the core issue, which is the price of the product, and cut it to a much more reasonable level. And they should be out there talking about why it's priced at what it is, what right. is its value, How, why, why are they, they sure. setting it at $600? We just don't know. Well, Teva Pharmaceuticals, who, by the way, owns a share of Myelin, FYI, is coming out with a generic version next year. And then also you've got Senator Joe Manchin, her father, who has made some mission comments about all this. Matt Isles, America's Health Insurance Plan's Executive Vice President for Policy. I'm sure we're going to be talking to you again about this. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.